Hey guys, History Behind the Warrior today and we're going to be talking about Kung Lao. I do want to apologise in advance, I've just been busy which means I just haven't had the time to get around to doing this. Pre-Mortal Kombat Kung Lao is one of the last known descendants of the Great Kung Lao, a former champion of Mortal Kombat. However, the Great Kung Lao was killed 500 years prior to these events by the Shokan Prince Goro. Due to the massive legacy that the Great Kung Lao had left, Kung Lao then enrolled into the White Lotus Society to train and become just as good as his previous ancestor. Whilst training at the White Lotus Society, he became great friends with another Shaolin monk by the name of Liu Kang. The two would become great friends and in sort of a way brothers. As a nice little twist, we find out that Kong Lao was originally the one to represent the Shaolin monks in the Mortal Kombat tournament. However, he declined knowing of the consequences of being a champion. As a result, Liu Kang was instead chosen and actually merged as the winner. Mortal Kombat 2 Kung Lao first appears in Mortal Kombat 2 alongside Liu Kang, where they are attacked by Tarkatans. The reason behind this is because Shao Kahn was angry that Liu Kang had actually won the Mortal Kombat tournament. Therefore, he wanted to create another Mortal Kombat tournament by drawing in the Earthrealm Warriors to fight on Outworld's home turf. After defeating the Tarkatan soldiers, Liu Kang and Kung Lao travelled through the portal to Outworld to avenge their fallen Shaolin brothers. Although joining Liu Kang in his quest, Kung Lao's ultimate goal was to actually rebuild the White Lotus Society and the Wushu Academy. Following Shao Kahn's defeat at Liu Kang's hands, the two monks then returned back to Earthrealm and began training a new generation of Shaolin monks. Mortal Kombat 3 With Shao Kahn's invasion of Earthrealm, he had to temporarily stop his plans to reform the White Lotus Society. Eventually, Kung Lao was forced to fight Shao Kahn, the Emperor of Outworld. However, during this confrontation, Kung Lao was apparently killed, giving Liu Kang the rage he needed and motivation to destroy Shao Kahn. After Shao Kahn's defeat, we find out that Kung Lao had actually faked his death. With Outworld driven back, Kung Lao decided not to return back to the Shaolin temples and instead tried to enjoy his life, living a life of peace in respect of the belief of his ancestors. Mortal Kombat 4 Shinnok was released from his amulet. Whilst fighting against Shinnok's forces, word reached him that Goro, the Shokan prince who had killed the great Kung Lao centuries before, was still alive. After Shinnok's defeat, Kung Lao confronted Goro and fought him in one-on-one -on -one combat. With each of them striking blow for blow and not backing down, the two warriors then shook hands, saying that their feud was finally over. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance After Shinnok's defeat, Kong Lao lived in peace for a few years. However, as we all know, this would not last forever, as Kong Lao had found the dead body of Liu Kang. While searching for answers to his murderer, Raiden had told him that Shang Tsung and Quan Shi, consisting of the Deadly Alliance, were the two perpetrators of this act. Kung Lao vowed vengeance against the two sorcerers and abandoned his pacifist Shaolin beliefs. He believed that his current skills were insufficient to defeat the sorcerers and decided to meet with Liu Kang's teacher, Bo Rai Cho. Bo Rai Cho trained Kung Lao for a short time, teaching him the whirlwind kick. After mastering this maneuver, they joined the other warriors in the assault against the two sorcerers. Kung Lao would not rest until he avenged Liu Kang. Mortal Kombat Deception The assault against the sorcerers did not go well at all. Kung Lao had actually been killed in the battle alongside most of the other Earthrealm warriors. This in turn left Raiden to fight against the Deadly Alliance alone. But even the Thunder God could not stand against the two sorcerers. As they were going to kill Raiden, the Dragon King Onaga emerged and was revealed to still be alive. This would later result in Raiden actually sacrificing his own life in hopes of destroying the Dragon King. But his death was in vain as the Naga simply brushed off the attack and revived most of the Earthrealm warriors that were actually killed by the Deadly Alliance. In Ermac's Deception canon ending, we find out that Ermac and Liu Kang were successful in rescuing the enslaved Earthrealm warriors. Mortal Kombat Armageddon In Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he is mentioned in Fujin's bio stating that the two had gotten together to stop the corrupted Raiden and the undead Liu Kang. Just in case you guys didn't know, at this point Liu Kang's body and spirit got separated and Liu Kang's body went on a crazy rampage because Raiden went all evil and stuff and made him kill people for the sake of killing people and Raiden became corrupted upon his reanimation. Anyway, back to the story. It is then stated in Fujin's bio that if there was no way to revert the two corrupted warriors back to normal, both he and Kong Lao would then be forced to kill both of them. During the final battle of Armageddon, we find out that Kong Lao kills Baraka, but is apparently killed by Shinnok. I no doubt have someone in the comments saying, hey, you missed out Shaolin monks. 
Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Shaolin Monks is actually a non-canon game. It's a retelling of Mortal Kombat 2 that goes off in its own direction. And as you guys know, I'm not sure if there's any new viewers, but I only cover canon stuff. And unfortunately, as much as everyone loves Shaolin Monks, I will not be covering it in this. Mortal Kombat 9 Kong Lao on this comes along as a little bit more brash and bold than his other counterpart. And we also find out that uh, Kong Lao is actually jealous because in the original timeline, Kong Lao was picked. However, in this timeline, Liu Kang was picked and Kong Lao is actually jealous. Due to his jealousy, Kong Lao actually breaks into the Mortal Kombat tournament disguised as one of Shang Tsung's guards. This would lead the brush Shaolin warrior to fight off against Scorpion, but he's quickly defeated by the Wraith. After Liu Kang's victory of Shang Tsung, Kong Lao joins Sonya, Jax and Johnny Cage to watch Liu Kang be awarded a medal for his victory at the ceremony held at the Wushu Academy. The celebration was short-lived as Shang Tsung had summoned a portal to allow Tarkatan hordes to invade the Wushu Academy, kidnapping Sonya and attacking many of the Shaolin monks. Raiden then received the vision of Liu Kang defeating Shao Kahn at the Outworld Tournament in which then Raiden accepted the tournament challenge, believing that all would go well and that he could prevent Armageddon. Kong Lao and Liu Kang were sent by Raiden to free their fellow Shaolin, whilst Raiden, Cage and Jax went to meet Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung. They then all regroup at the Wastelands, where they are then informed by Jade of Katana's execution. Kong Lao and Liu Kang travel to the tower where Katana is imprisoned in. Kong Lao and Liu Kang are confronted by Shiva and Noob Saibot, who told him that Katana has been relocated. Kong Lao then proceeds to fight and defeat Noob Saibot. After defeating Noob, Kong Lao notices a familiar presence about Noob. After stating this, he looks at Liu Kang who was fighting Shiva, stating that four arms against two is hardly fair. At that moment, Goro arrives, wanting revenge against Liu Kang for his defeat in the previous Mortal Kombat tournament. Kong Lao challenges and defeats his ancestor's killer, who then reveals to them Katana's location. Goro then informs the two Shaolin that she has been taken to the Colosseum where she has no doubt been executed. Out of frustration, Liu Kang knocks out Goro, however Kong Lao still says there is time and is the voice of reason. The two then travel to the Colosseum where they see Katana chained up. Liu Kang would go to Katana's aid, not willing to take part in the tournament due to Raiden thinking Liu Kang was not the one who was supposed to defeat Shao Kahn. With all the Earthrealm warriors eliminated from the tournament, Raiden believed that Kong Lao could be the one that should win the tournament. This would then lead Kong Lao to step up to the plate of being known as he who must win. Kong Lao then participates in the tournament, first fighting off against Shang Tsung and Quan Chi and managing to defeat them both. After defeating the Deadly Alliance, he fights Kintaro and defeats him too. Hearing the boos from the crowd, Kong Lao takes his hat off and begins mocking them. This would then give Shao Kahn the opportunity to sneak up behind Kong Lao and snap his neck, giving Liu Kang the rage and anger he needed to seemingly kill Shao Kahn. Kong Lao is later seen next to Quan Shi as a revenant, along his fellow Earthrealm warriors who had been murdered in Sindel's attack. Raiden attempts to strike a deal with Quan Shi to assist in the Outworld invasion, but Quan Shi declines and sends Kong Lao as well as the many Earthrealm warriors that had fallen to kill him, but Raiden manages to defeat them. Mortal Kombat X Kong Lao's first actual appearance in Mortal Kombat X is chronologically 25 years before it when Shao Kahn was having his second tournament. He is seen travelling with Liu Kang and Raiden to free Shaolin monks who were captured by Baraka's Tarkatan horde when they had sorted the Wushu Academy. The three of them then ambush the Tarkatan horde. Raiden goes off to fight Baraka and Devorah whilst Kong Lao and Liu Kang fight with the Tarkatan hordes along the way. Raiden then defeats Baraka and Devorah and leaves Kong Lao and Liu Kang to deal with rescuing the monks but tells them to join him in the Mortal Kombat tournament after they have finished. Back in present time, we see that Kong Lao is still a revenant of Quan Chi, alongside Liu Kang, Sindel, and Katana. Quan Chi and the revenants then travel to the fortress to await for Devoro with Shinnok's amulet. However, on their journey, they are ambushed by the special forces consisting of Jax, Ken Shi, and Serena. As they slowly push through, Liu Kang escorts Quan Chi whilst Kong Lao fights off Jax. Kong Lao tells Jax to go back into retirement, but he does not comply. The two of them then fight but Jax emerges as the victor. Kong Lao is next seen when Shinnok is released from his amulet alongside Liu Kang, Katana, Sindel and Smoke, where they all pledge their allegiance to the fallen Elder God. Kong Lao then appears at the Sky Temple where he escorts Shinnok to corrupt the Jinsei. Raiden attempts to stop them but is surrounded by the Revenant servants. They begin teasing Raiden until eventually he is sick and tired of it and begins fighting them off. 
Raiden is temporarily overpowered by them but is able to shock most of the revenants except Kung Lao. Raiden orders Kong Lao to stop but the latter tells Raiden that he serves Shinnok and the Never Realm now. Raiden attempts to reach out to Kong Lao and recalls that he only serves him because of his death by Shao Kahn's hands, in which Kong Lao retorts by saying Raiden allowed his death and he will not be so passive in Raiden's demise. The two of them then proceed to fight, with Kong Lao coming up short. However, not long after this, Raiden is captured once again by Shinnok. Lao is then next seen when Cassie Cage and her team arrive at the Sky Temple. Kong Lao is seen talking with Smoke and Liu Kang, discussing about how they will invade the heavens. Kong Lao, Liu Kang and Smoke then leave to try and find Raiden's portal. After they have left, this leaves Kitana and Sindel alone, allowing Cassie's team to attack them. It's not too far after Kitana and Sindel are defeated that they return. After seeing that their fellow revenants have been defeated, they then pursue and attack Jackie and Takeda, who offer to stay back and fight off the dead revenants. After Shinnok's defeat, Kong Lao along with the other revenants retreat to the Never Realm. It is unknown as what happened afterwards, but it's most likely that he continues to be a revenant. And that's Kong Lao's history guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't play as Kong Lao to save my life, but I think he's such a goddamn cool character, I had to eventually cover him. Anyway, as always, here's the person he's gonna be on next week. You have no chance, Thunder God. Thunder blots out the sun. You guys wanted him so goddamn bad, so Raiden is definitely gonna be covered this coming week. Anyway guys, you know how it goes, comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.